This is going to be a quick video on the temperatures and noise of the Radeon 6870. So I've got my handy dandy little thermometer here showing us the room temps because remember if the room temperatures go up by even one degree then the card temperatures will go up by exactly one degree. Those are the rules, they must be obeyed. So whenever you're comparing temperatures you have to remember you have to know the ambient temperature. So here you can see we have a 41 degree idle at a 22 and a half, uh, 22 to 23 degree room temperature. We're going to treat this as sort of plus minus one. I mean, look how sensitive this thing is. If I put my hand next to the probe over here, watch the temperature skyrocket just from the heat my hand's giving off. I'm not even touching the thing. Pretty crazy. So you got to sort of see, look at that. It's already up to like 25 degrees just because of the heat from my hand. Anyway, so here it is at idle. It's basically silent at idle. It's got a little bit of a, a little bit of fan, normal fan, sort of a grinding noise uh, within probably about 12 to 14 inches. But beyond that, and especially inside a closed case, you will not hear this thing. So 41 degree idle, silent. Now let's see what it looks like under a gaming load. Now we've got what would represent a worst case scenario gaming load. So you can see the room temperatures here. And you can see that running Furmark in extreme burn mode is going to yield an 83 degree temperature. You can also see that the, whoops, fan speed has ramped up a fair bit. Wow, not really much at all. That's incredible. Oh wait, no it has, it's just not detected by afterburner. Okay, so you can listen. You can compare those two clips against each other. So it is uh, quite a bit louder, but still quite tolerable, especially for like a performance, like a mid-range performance graphics card. So I'm going to give you uh, just some comparisons against the GTX 480. There's full speed in case you were wondering, but I'm going to give you some comparisons against the GTX 480 as well as the 5870, just so you got a reference point. Here's the 5870 for my noise comparison. Get in nice and close to the fan. Now the 5870 is a touch louder than the 6870, at least for my particular samples. Um, one thing that... I mean, those fans look so similar, but it almost looks like the new fan is a little bit bigger. You know what? I'm going to compare that. Just a sec. Uh, no, the fan is exactly the same diameter. For some reason, there's a little bit more whir to this one. It could just be that it's older. It is a bit of an older card. So you can see that my idle temps on this particular card are 38 degrees. At least you'd be able to see that if my camera could focus on a monitor for a change. Maybe that'll help. There you go. 39 degrees. 38 degrees. And then my room temps are around 22, 23 degrees. So there you go. Now we'll ramp it up. Now, bearing in mind that this is a more powerful card, the noise level is quite a bit louder and it does get hotter, so it runs at about 90 degrees using the default fan profile. Remember with Afterburner, you can always uh, change profiles around if you want. So you can see we're running at about 44% on the fan speed and uh, 87 degrees on the GPU. I think I already said that. Yeah, I already said that. So I'm just going to show you just for context. So remember, Furmark is pretty much a worst case scenario for a game running. Uh, like, absolute worst case scenario. It won't get this hot, it won't get this loud in any sort of real game. And this, this is only if you set it manually, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it up to 100% just so you see it. There you go. Okay, moving on. And finally, for comparison, we have the GTX 480, which is uh, in some ways the top dog in terms of, uh, of noise generation due to the power and size of the GPU inside it. So you can see our idle temperatures are a little bit higher than the other two cards that we were looking at at about 50 degrees. My room temps, just for your reference, are uh, around the same there, 23 and a half degrees. Okay, and then in terms of fan noise, you can see that fan's barely spinning. I mean, look at this not going very fast at all. Uh, this is quite a quiet card at idle, but it's a bit of a different story under load. So our GTX 480 peaked at around just over 90 degrees under load. You can see here in Furmark, I want to stress again uh, that not only for the GTX 480, but for the other cards that we're looking at here, that Furmark represents an unrealistic gaming load. 
It's mostly a tool for uh, finding out the absolute max temps and uh, making sure that your card is 100% stable with an overclock. So there's your reference point for listening to it. And just for fun, I'm going to turn this one up to 100% if you really want to blow your ears off. Quite, quite loud at uh, that particular setting. So I'll go ahead and put it back to auto. I mean, bear in mind the GTX 480 does ramp up to about 80% fan speed um, under uh, under an intense load like this, anyhow.